dear forum participants. Unfortunately, we have limited time. That's why I will try to be very brief and talk about customs regulations issues, what we did and what we want to do. Uh, considering that uh, we mostly touch upon transport, transportation, uh, tourism, ICT, and other areas, uh, we heard very interesting presentations so far, and uh, uh, for everyone, this was very interesting. The topic that I'm going to touch is uh, clear to everyone because most of the companies uh, presented here uh, are dealing with international relations, with exchange of products, etc. Uh, uh, I want to say that uh, our customs uh, policy comes forward from economic policy. We know that. Uh, we want to integrate uh, to the world economy. In Azerbaijan also we did very important things, development of economy, it's sustainable development. Uh, helps us to use uh, uh, economic categories. Customs regulations is part of, uh, of the regulations. It helps to achieve economic uh, development as well. As in many countries in Azerbaijan, we also have an uh, important role for this. Uh, and uh, uh, President puts forward very important uh, act activities for us. So first of all, I want to say that uh, we have to unify uh, our international norms. So first of all, uh, international norms have to be transferred to Azerbaijan legislation and uh, optimal uh, regulations helps us. The same rules uh, are clear for everyone and uh, it's implemented by uh, country agents and uh, from this standpoint uh, in Azerbaijan Republic as I said, uh, uh, the customs legislation is formulated based on the international standards, especially European standards are reflected in our legislation. Uh, of course, uh, Mr. Ziad can approve me because uh, in Parliament discussions, Mr. Ziad uh, led discussion of this legislation and as we said we solved many issues including uh, procedure rules were unified um, people some people know that in international trade the main uh, thing is unification uh, of the procedures and uh, decrease of the required documentation. In Azerbaijan, after customs code became effective, uh, we pay special attention to decrease of required documents. And in Azerbaijan, uh, the number of documents, uh, we think that this is very important step and uh, it helps to improve the situation here. Uh, activities that we undertake here should be adequate to economic processes. And uh, uh, from this standpoint, we think that these important rules, uh, these new rules uh, uh, are positively accepted by society and it helps uh, to uh, uh, to speed up the turn product turnover. We are also thinking about optimization of the processes. You have to consider that uh, customs 
policy is one of the main directions of our economy. And uh, if we look at the figures, uh, uh, customs tariff rate 9.6%. Uh, we have multi-step uh, customs tariff system. Uh, we want to develop this system, and in recent uh, uh, recent future, we are going to pass to simplified step process uh, customs rules. Uh, uh, this is government's policy, of course, and participation of tariff. Uh, Uh, so of course, uh, it will create good environment, uh, good condition f or good environment for further economic development, and uh, will create uh, favorable conditions for the products in Azerbaijan. Uh, so you know that um, simplification of the process is also very sensitive. Uh, all companies, all uh, involved in import-export, uh, want to be released from uh, checks, from monitoring, and they raise this issue for the monitoring. But one of the fundamental issues for us is to create favorable condition for economy and to protect um, economic security of the country. Uh, to protect illegal uh, trafficking to the country, etc. And that's why these uh, controls and checks are done constantly by the customs. But we want to use this in a balanced way. Uh, we try to use non-intrusive -intru methods without opening these uh, uh, goods. We think that through this means, uh, in the border component, uh, we could, uh, uh, in all our border crossings in the London railways, we are going to install all necessary equipment. Besides that, uh, we are touching some infrastructural measures. You know that uh, uh, the customs re require certain time. Of course, um, uh, we are focusing on high technologies. We want to use IT technologies. And uh, we want to pass from uh, paper technologies to electronic technologies. Actually, we have very good e-services e here for population, but we think that we should not stop here. We should develop it. And of course, we should increase our infrastructural opportunities. And uh, we will create all favorable conditions for economic transition. We talked about tourism, and we think that in Azerbaijan, one of the achievements uh, is fact that uh, tourists can freely move in our on our territory. And with great pleasure, I want to say that. One of our e-government services, uh, physical persons or tourists can uh, fill in electronic uh, declarations instead of uh, paper declarations. And our statistical uh, data shows that many people uh, Uh, one of our main activities is also protection of uh, the cultural heritage. We are doing certain steps here. Uh, 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 we plan certain activities uh, we, in different area uh, territories, you know, that depending on the transport form. Uh, 
uh, it's not that easy to do, but we try to increase our potential uh, to implement such functions. Once again, I want to return uh, to economic uh, issues. We think that all necessary activities are done in a complex form and in Azerbaijan in order to increase uh, potential we have all the potential uh, and in future uh, this area will be developed as well. I know that this is the second part of the day and uh, later we can discuss in details, that's why I don't want to take much of your time, just want to summarize and uh, wish success to this forum. Thank you very much.